Hey YouTube, this is Michael from We's Into Snakes and I'm going to bring you a video today that's a little bit, uh, I guess uh, it's a little bit heartbreaking, a little bit disturbing. Um, I will tell you this, it's kind of graphic, so if you don't like uh, graphic type situations, you might want to just shut this video off now. Um, but this is like really what happens. This is the first time it's happened to us. Um, but I do know of other breeders that's had this happen as well. Um, the cut, the clutch we cut just the other day, we knew there was one in here that looked kind of odd, but we were waiting on it to come out of the egg. Um, it actually, when it came out of the egg, um, we could see that there, what was wrong with it. It actually was alive and, but has since passed and... This is, this is the baby here. So, as you can see, its body is kind of fused together. Um, it has some bad kinks in it. The, the head looks somewhat like dimpled right there. It's this fusion, show it. Right. So yeah completely fused in half. Yeah, you can see like a kink right there. So it's like the whole body just kind of fused together. Came out on its own from its egg though. It was yeah. alive up until then. And as soon as it came out, we knew that it wasn't going to survive because of that. Also the yolk, um, it didn't absorb any of its yolk at uh, all. So, um, like I said, it does happen. Um, this is the first time it's happened to us. Uh don't know why it happened um could have been just the baby itself everybody else i mean you look at everybody else everybody else looks perfectly fine um so it's weird because its belly button is at that fusion yeah there yeah you can see that like, it's just all fused together right mm -hmm. there so anyway but like yeah like i said you can see the other ones all everyone else looks perfectly healthy um, for what looked to be um, coral, glo coral glow pastel bamboos and then two other ones that um, definitely guess, pastel that one's definitely pastel that mm -hmm. one might be just a normal mm -hmm. but like I said that's kind of the deal it happens sometimes so i think um what we'll do is we can freeze that we do have people who are the oddity collectors who yeah. like to um i don't think we have king snakes that we, we feed it to but i don't think our king snakes can get past that fusion so i think we're gonna freeze it and offer it to one of our oddity friends who like to preserve specimen um, and see if they would like to have it yeah but like i said everybody else seems perfectly fine and everything it is kind of kind of heartbreaking to have something like that you know but um i was feeling kind of worried about him her whichever it may be um because we knew it wasn't going to survive and we were just kind of like what are we you know we're gonna know we're gonna have to euthanize it checked on it uh last night um he was out of the egg he she was out of the egg um and then this morning when I checked on him, he was gone. So, um, but you know, that's th things that happen sometimes when you're uh, breeding snakes. So it's, it's true. You know, uh, the only reason I'm bringing you this video is cause it's true life. It's, it's what happens sometimes. So sometimes animals are, um, hatched out or are born that just are not going to survive. They don't have what it takes to survive. So, um, Luckily for that one there, it didn't last long outside the egg, so it wasn't like it was um, a long suffering type thing where it starved to death or something like that because it couldn't eat. So, and that in hindsight, maybe, you know, that's a good thing there. But uh, like I said, kind of kind of gets to me a little bit because, you know, I, I want all of them to survive and do well. And uh, sometimes things like that happen. So, um, like I said, uh, hope you liked the video. 
Um, it's just kind of an informational or educational type thing. Um, we don't do, well, this is the first time we've had a snake like that. Just um, shows that not everything's yeah, perfect. Yeah, not everything is. So, but it's real life, so that's why we're bringing you this video. So, um, hopefully next video we'll have uh, some more good news and everything else. We do have a couple more clutches that are due here in a couple weeks. I uh, do have some more females that uh, are... Um, Hopefully we'll lay soon, so we'll be bringing you that. We'll bring you an update video on these once they shed out. They all came out of the eggs yesterday, so in about a week they'll shed out, and we'll bring you a video update on them as we uh, separate them and put them in their little hatchling tubs and stuff like that. So, again, I appreciate you watching the, the video. Um, thank you for your support, uh, those that uh, that watch the video and comment and so forth, and and like the videos give it a thumbs up that uh, we appreciate that so until next time i'll see you later